Hello everyone, and welcome back to Adam's Journey, where Adam may have passed on in previous generations, but we are carrying on with his descendants who are carrying his legacy into the future with a rather dramatic turn of events. So friends, if you need to catch up, definitely check out the previous episode to see what the blessings of berries had to offer and the first appearance of the big blue bird, which is actually returned and I really realized kind of at the last moment that short-sighted Rochelle walked away from little baby Moku who's actually one of the most important babies we could ever have because he has K immunity and he also manages to have digging paw cracking like he also has the toxic fangs we do not want to lose this baby she short-sightedly walked away from her child without realizing the freaking bluebird is right there and he is incoming so Va is going to make a heroic dive onto his son to protect his son just in time from the bird that swoops overhead. Good job, Va! Oh my gosh, I really thought that was the end for little Moku and we really need his genes because they would mix perfectly just saying, with Aline's, and if Aline can go ahead and snag her herd immunity, her home immunity, pardon me, in with Moku, we might really be on to something wonderful there, friends. Oh, but thank goodness Moku is safe. But all right, we're going to carry on right where we left off last time with our females currently having tons of babies, Rochelle, T, and Blee are all pregnant, and T is leading the way, having many, many babies. With only two days left to live, she is very happy that her legacy will be remembered rather like her mother's Eve legacy. Her mother Eve's legacy. There we go with her many offspring and descendants. We do not have any twins this time, and we had two sets of twins among um, T's siblings, but we do have Buzz, who has the blessings of berries and is able to pick a berry bush better than anybody else in the family. We have Kuno, who is mm, quite proud about his strength and the fact that he's the first one in the entire tribe to have figured out how to crack open the nuts and eat all of the deliciousness inside. We have Latila here, who is extremely clever. While her brother may be the first one to crack open the nuts, she was the first one to figure out where the nuts came from and be able to knock them loose from the tree. And then we have a little Aline, who I do have my hopes set on because she has home um, or island immunity. We need to pass that on to many future children. Kuno also has that as well, so that's extremely exciting. But we're going to carry on, hopefully with the big bear that Anna is laughing at really hard that Radon was so terrified of it, uh, not messing with anyone. And we're going to let Ro actually start venturing a little bit further into the island. There's delicious berries here that he could focus on eating and gathering, but everybody else seems to be pairing off and starting families, and it's made Ro, who does have home immunity, so we do want to try to get a child or two out of him too, a little curious about what lies beyond. So we're going to have him do a bit of exploring, hopefully stumble upon another female, and let's see what baby T is about to have. And T is hopefully raising all of her children to understand the importance about piling up as much food as possible so that one day the adventurers of the tribe will be able to go to the north and search out the striped lands of their grandfather's home island. Oh, another baby boy! With the blessing of berries! We have got double nimble fingers on little Vano, who I am going to actually re- Oh, and he's got some food! He's got water body! Yes! Okay, we're gonna actually name him Tio after his mom because T also has water body even though she's not had a chance to use it ever since she decided to have a bazillion babies. T, you have really had a lot of babies, my dear. Uh, and he unfortunately doesn't have a home island immunity, but he can help collect any type of berry because he has those toxic fangs. So that's good. Um, and let's go ahead and have little baby Rasi. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Pri is gonna jump over to protect this child as well. Uh, Kuno, and we're gonna move little baby Rasi 
over into her father's arms and T has one day left to live. So she's going to give birth to her final child now, uh, which is quite sad. And I think that Kudo especially, who has just become the eldest of all his siblings, is not ready for this responsibility of protecting all of his siblings. And what about all these cousins that are suddenly popping up? Oh, hey, and I forgot about little Nota, who is down here exploring the edges of the beach for the first time in ages. And he actually wants to start exploring around the place as well. Um, and hopefully finding lots and lots of clams. So Nota's going to kind of jump around and be on his own little expedition. And meanwhile, Moku gets plopped into the mole hole because that is a tradition among Rochelle's people to be able to put their babies into the mole hole. Uh, oh dear, and Blee only has like one day, or like four days left. Ah, I don't have enough nest. <laughs> But Rochelle is going to be very excited to see that her child is once again safe inside of the mole hole where he can think about uh, having, having wisdom imparted to him from the moles. And we're going to let Va kind of keep an eye on his son. Oh, hey, and another berry bush! <laughs> and gather up some berries and kind of be like, Nota, son, are you okay over there? And Nota is just like, yeah, dad, fine. Having a really great time adventuring. And we're gonna let New do a little adventuring too. Oh my gosh, and he just found, sweet! New just found a tree trunk, that's fantastic. We're gonna have him kind of call out in excitement, like, look what I found. Cause I think that he would be very tickled by that. Um. Oh, I think I heard somebody. <gasps> Who's this? Is it a female? Did New just find himself a new mate? I think, okay, we're gonna have Rue jump over and be like, I heard something. Oh yes, and we have another nest. Excellent. Oh, and we have another female. Is she worth it? She has CNH immunity, woo! Unfortunately, she also has short-sighted eyes and blind eye recessive, one deformed paw. Mm. And she's not very fertile. However, I will take those genes. So that's very exciting. We're gonna have to go ahead and get Rue over there to see what's going on. All right. And otherwise, Anna, I don't know if Anna really wants to have children of her own, but we might need to get some from Radon. But for now, we're gonna have Anna curiously follow the big bear. Oh, get away from my berries. Aha! Everyone's trying to steal my berries, so I think that Blee is going to be very startled by both this unexpected nicheling, uh, Lenmini. Oh, she's about to pass away of old age. Not worth it. Um, of curses. That means Rue doesn't have a mate. <laughs> so Rodan's going to rush over to see what all the noise is about. And clear away some grass while we're at it. And I'm going to have Anna follow and clear grass away too because I'm trying to get enough nesting material that Blee can have her nest. Uh, oh, here, we could probably get some nesting material from over here. Kuno is gonna be watching his younger brother, Tio, and destroy the nest by accident. Yes! Oh no, and now Blee, <laughs> I have used up all her moves so she can't make that nest, Fooey. Uh, just cause it seems like something Kuno would do by accident, which would make Latila just completely roll her eyes. All right, meanwhile, Buzz is going to gather up a whole bunch of those berries and jump up and proclaim himself the best berry collector in the land. And Kuno is going to sit by his mother's side because although nobody else in the family amongst his siblings realize it just yet, it is actually T's final days. All right, and we're gonna have her mate, Pri, stay by her side and comfort her as she gives birth to the last child with a smile on her face, mind you, because she has had many children of her own and they are all beginning to explore this wondrous island deeper and deeper into its mysteries that the family has discovered. All right, is that everybody? That's everybody. We've got a couple babies incoming. All right, T, thank you so much for being the one to give birth to once again a lot of boys. <laughs> I think they're gonna be the adventurers uh, of our tribe for sure. And I hope that you will know that your dedication to gathering plenty of food so that our adventurers could go forth without worries has definitely paid off, as we have almost a hundred food now. Rest in peace, T. <gasps> oh. My. Gosh. <gasps> oh my word, we just 
had a sticky tongued baby with home immunity and immunity G. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna call this guy? We already have Buzz. Do I wanna name him B? Wasp? I kinda wanna name him, like, let's see, Learn You. I think this is this is a shock that has rippled through the entire island because not a single one of our nichelings in the entire tribe, other than this little one, born upon the the demise of his mother, the very last child that she ever had, not a single one of these nichelings doesn't have toxic fangs, except for him. <laughs> he is such. An unexpected little delight and and he has stinky tail so he smells weird he looks like a bumblebee and he has this nose I think that this is completely flummoxed the entire tribe and they don't know what to do they I think pre has no idea what to name this little one he's just he's just a uh, lup you oh my gosh I'm gonna go for it so lup you here we're gonna go with lup you there we go. Le Pew. Uh, known as Pew for short. Um, yeah, I don't think that anyone in the tribe... Not because he's sneaky, but that's just... We're going to make that a joke that that's the name they gave him. I think they're all just absolutely stunned and don't know how to react for a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, what's also amazing is that it is now time. Let's have Blee jump over here and get comfy. And she's going to make herself a nice little nest. Uh, and meanwhile, this female, Lin Meme E, uh, is wandering around. And we're going to have Anna kind of be like, um, that's my berry. Like, what are you doing? And then Buzz also take care of things. So Buzz is going to kind of protect this little berry patch. And I think that... Oh, Ro! Ro, she came to you! Meanwhile, Ro wandering and desperate for a mate of his own along the edges has just had on her final days of life <laughs> Lin Meme Lin Mimi pop into his life and I think he's going to be utterly swept away and he is going to sweep her off her feet. She has been pretty much just blindly wandering through the world. And we're gonna go ahead and give her nimble fingers. Uh, oh, I really should probably give her stripes, maybe? Yeah, I might need to give her stripes, but we can definitely get stripes back in once we have more useful traits. There we go. But we're gonna have, let's see, normal sided eyes and nimble fingers as well on Rue. But she literally came to Rue instead of Rue having to go to her. And Rue is going to immediately profess his love, his amazement. Her beautiful green eyes remind him of nothing else that he has ever seen in the world and sweep her off her feet. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Um, so she's going to be like, that's wonderful. However, I don't know. I, I don't know much about you. However, there's this comfy nest that a Dodomingo made and he will try again. It worked. All right, she's swept off her feet. I can't believe that little Lin managed to find a way into the tribe in her final moments. That's amazing. Meanwhile, Anna is going to continue to kind of explore, clear grass away, be very intrigued by how quickly her family is expanding around her on all sides. Uh, and we're going to have Pri. He'll destroy this nest to watch over the place where his mate was. Hmm... And Pre has home island immunity and A immunity. Hmm. But I think we're doing pretty good. So I'm gonna have Pre actually come back and actually do a little exploring over here to show his children where the food is and how to hunt. And also keep an eye on your younger brother Tio. And also your younger brother Le Pew. <laughs> uh to Kuno. So Kuno's suddenly like, what? Because he's responsible for keeping an eye on everybody. Uh, Latala is going to kick the tree to kind of giggle and like drop some of the nuts down on her brother's head. And we're actually going to have Latala start wandering along the edges. She can collect up pretty much everything. And she's going to look over here and see that there are other trees about. How does one get to those? 
She is a very clever one after all. Oh hey, and meanwhile she'll mark every bush that she comes across. And maybe even call after her younger sister, Aline. <gasps> yes, we have unlocked Big Nose. I mean, we don't really want Big Nose because we want to keep the toxic fangs, but still. All right, and meanwhile, Kuno will be like, a little dude, at least get under the tree so that you're a little safer. Kuno's just found himself in an unexpected place of responsibility. All right, meanwhile, Rodan is going to carry on with his efforts to keep the tribe safe. Little Nota is going to carry on with his efforts to try to explore down the beach while his parents are distracted. Ooh, hey, Moku! Ha ha! Moku is going to try to do some hunting, but he's not quite as adept at hunting as his dad. Uh, and we're going to have Rachelle, who has two days left, come over to commune with the, the moles and speak with her mate about whatever wisdom she has to impart from her past tribe in her final moments. We'll let Blee grab something to eat. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clear some of the grass around where New is. Man, clearing the grass and establishing territory, now that we're not playing on a custom lifespan, so we're just playing on the very short normal niche lifespan, it really, it really makes the wanderers who establish territory by clearing the grass away very noble in their efforts they don't have free time there is no free time time is slipping between our fingers <laughs> so anyone who spends their days clearing the grass so that the tribe will always know what to expect in that land that is a noble effort all right let's see what babies we're about to have who's the current okay currently pregnant and on a nest we have lynn and we have blee I can't believe it! I can't believe our luck! But thankfully, holy cow, Blee's daughter, who has been born with freaking savannah horns, is not sickly! The odds of that were not in our favor because Blee and New both have A and G immunity, so we were really playing with fire there. However, the results are fantastic! Look at her! Oh my gosh, so Blee and new i'm gonna name her um let's see oh she's so cool look at her with her collecting hands she's gonna be able to swim she's gonna be able to carry on their dreams of the ocean um i'm going to name her let's go with blinu let's go with uh blina Bl blina there we go a little of both parents, because she is a perfect combination of a little of both parents. That is fantastic. Also, Radon, I think that the Peaceful Bear likes you. Because <laughs> the Peaceful Bear just showed up yet again. And we just had the birth of Lynn's child. Possibly the only child that she'll be able to offer to the tribe. But he has C immunity. He has got K immunity or home immunity. Boom, boom. And he also has fishing tail. He's going to be the first nicheling who is able to fish in the tribe. And he also has the blessing of berries by being able to gather up all the berries. But he's also one of the first nichelings. I think the second only nicheling ever born in this tribe without toxic fangs. He might be the first one to discover that these berries are toxic to any nicheling who consumes them, but hopefully his mother will be able to impart that lesson before the end of her life. Holy moly! There's a lot happening here. Also, Le Pew, get under the tree! I feel like Kuno's just like, oh my gosh, the siblings, get under the tree, I don't want you all to die. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Little Tanu is ready to get out of the way and allow his mother some space to go ahead and give birth to her final child. Holy cow, it is just dramatic on all levels around here. The berries are ready for plucking from our berry blessed buzz. Like, he's just got so many to harvest left, right, and center. This is fantastic. Uh, and we'll have, we'll have Anna clear the grass away. It's an honorable, honorable tradition amongst this tribe, after all. Oh, heck. And somebody just got... Oh, geez. I wonder if Nota's going to come running back because he just got bleached. <laughs> but all right, guys. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Always so much fun to see what new additions to the tribe we may have. I have to say I'm extremely excited about Blina 
I'm really, ho Lena, I'm really hoping that she'll be able to explore the waterways and carry on with Blee and New's desire to swim in the open seas. Ah, and I really am excited to see just what we're going to look like by the time we finally get ourselves to Home Island, because already we've got a little bit of everything is still similar. And then in other ways, things are getting very, very, very different. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our growing tribe. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.